let us talk about randomized control trial today randomized control trial rct is the gold standard in generating scientific evidence there are three key pillars which makes the rct so scientific the first pillar is randomization the other pillar is blinding we all know about these two pillars what is the third pillar any guess yeah many people often ignore this third pillar that is allocation concealment what is randomization it is nothing but randomly allocating the study participants to one of the intervention groups suppose i have treatment group a and b i'll generate a random number sequence using a computer software or random number tables or lottery method or by flipping a coin and i'll generate this sort of sequence which is very random so i don't have any control over my first and second and third participants will go into which groups what is the primary purpose are you thinking about selection bias yes one of the purpose of randomization is selection bias but the primary purpose is to achieve good baseline balance between the two study groups baseline balance with respect to what with respect to potential known and unknown confounders please mark these two words the purpose of randomization is to achieve good baseline balance between the study groups with respect to what potential known and unknown confounders if your sample size is large enough your randomization process is effective this is what will happen a good baseline balance so confounding is taken care of second process is allocation concealment if i generate the allocation sequence and i hand it over to the researcher openly if i know my first patient is going into treatment group a i may call a patient whom i prefer to be in treatment group a because i feel that treatment group a is very effective so i am again resorting to selection bias so the allocation sequence which is generated has to be concealed from the investigator third process is blinding whom to blind and why to blind there are four people involved participant investigator who gives the intervention the assessor who assesses the outcomes sometimes these two people may be a same person and then finally the statistician participant should not know about the nature of the intervention otherwise he'll have reporting bias the participant should not know the nature of the intervention otherwise he'll report the outcomes in a different way that is called reporting bias the investigator should not know about the nature of the intervention otherwise he'll have interviewer bias the assessor should not know about the nature of the intervention otherwise he may have ascertainment bias so all these people needs to be blinded for the nature of intervention hope you have got good understanding of these three key pillars randomization primary purpose is to achieve good baseline balance with respect to potential known and unknown confounders allocation concealment primary purpose is to take care of selection bias the blinding primary purpose is to take care of reporting bias ascertainment bias and interviewer bias but how to do these three processes practically you need to log into our practical research lessons in our coguide application so that you can go out with the practical learning on these three processes so that you can independently execute a randomized control trial with very minimal external support hope you have enjoyed this video having a good companion is vital for smooth and enjoyable research journey even though you have so many tools available in the market for research the journey with coguide is very simple fun and exciting of high scientific standards and can have real boost on your research career and also your clinical practice so what are you waiting for log in to coguide.in today invite all your friends and colleagues keep abreast with all the biomedical research developments across the globe by logging on to our social media platforms have a enjoyable research journey thank you so much